Okay, you can see a guy in the um, on the PowerPoint slide there who's looking pretty excited. Well, what's he all excited about? The following is a fantastic strategy which has huge potential to see people saved and assimilated into your church. Now, the reason I've underlined your is because, you know what? Inside the heart of every pastor and leader in the world is a desire to actually grow their church for the glory of God and because that's what God's called them to do. So this is a strategy to help them achieve their goal. Okay, the core of this strategy is the website www.bible11.org. So we want you to um, just uh, keep that in mind as we go through these this, uh, this little slideshow here. How does it work? Well, firstly, your church will print some business cards with the following on each side. On one side will be the name of your church, your logo, and anything else you want to include. It'll look pretty much like that. On the reverse side will be the words. Yep, the whole Bible summarized in 11 minutes. At the bottom, there will be a unique web address which links directly to your church. So that's what it looks like that. So you, after the forward slash will come the name of your church or whatever you want to have after that forward slash will make it unique for you. So the website looks as though it's just for you and you alone. These cards are then given out to all the members in your church. They will in turn give them to non-Christians, their family, their friends, their workmates, and so on. So there's somebody just handing a card to uh, one of their friends and one of their workmates. What do non-Christians see when they visit the Bible11.org forward slash St. Andrew's website? What are they going to see when, when they receive one of these cards? Well, the first thing they see is an 11-minute presentation of the gospel. And if you want to see this gospel presentation, then please, we ask you just to visit Bible11.com. You can see what sort of Bible message they're going to hear. It's a very, very cool Bible gospel message. At the end of the gospel presentation, a TV presenter appears with a short message appealing to site visitors to connect with someone from St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church. The presenter is Howard Dobson of TV3 Sports Tonight Show. This is a New Zealand television show. And there he is there. Isn't he a handsome dude? And there he is. He's got a lovely smile, lovely face. and he's, got a, he's very professional and awesome. And there's the logo from his show. To view what he says, please click on the link below. Just type that in and have a listen to what Howard's going to say. What happens at the end of what Howard says? So all these non-Christians are coming onto the site. They're, they see that, hear the gospel, then they hear Howard. What happens next? Well, website visitors are automatically taken through to another page. This page has 30-second videos of people in your church on it. These people are volunteering to make themselves available to connect with non-Christians who visit the website, your website. Please notice some things about the Connect video. So hopefully there will be, you know, a lot of people from your church will actually make a video, upload it onto this website and become a Connect person for non-Christians. The name of the person in your church will be there, like in this case it's John Doe. The name of your church will be there, and so will the address of your church. Because people might, you know, non-Christians might want to go and have, actually have a look at the outside of your church, drive, do a drive-by. Uh, not to do a drive-by in the traditional sense, but to drive by just to have a look at it. Um, the site visitor is asked to fill out a quick form which is automatically sent through to John Doe. It's up to John Doe to contact the visitor. In other words, in this way, John is in control of the contact uh, situation. His contact details are confidential. The site is safe. We want to make sure that was like that. All right, how do, do volunteers in your church list themselves on the website? Say you're somebody who says, look, I'd love to, to um, actually can, can help non-Christians come to Christ. I'd love to just uh, you know, make some you know, friends with people who are interested in Christianity. It'd be great. So the first thing is visit this website, that address there on the forward slash list yourself. So visit that site. And when you go there, uh, fill in the details. You'll see a form comes up, list yourself, and there's all the details there. Okay, so we want you to fill in your name, your, your, your email, your church name, your church website, the address of your YouTube video, and you're, you're going to have to get your pastor's permission to go on the site because we want to make sure that happens. Okay, all the volunteers need to do then is shoot their video. They just make a video, a 30 second or one minute video of themselves. You upload it onto YouTube, you copy the website address of your video. And um, you insert the video address 
into the field list yourself web form so you just stick it in there right in there that's where it goes that's the the URL or the website address off your YouTube video and on your video you want to be friendly you want to be loving you you know you're talking to a like a non-christian who, who might be interested in having a cup of coffee with you and talking about Christianity and you know becoming a Christian so you want to be upbeat and friendly maybe talk a little bit about what your interests are they'll see your age and um, just tell them what sort of a person you are and you'd love to connect with them and just let the Holy Spirit do the rest how does this strategy glorify Jesus? Well, first of all, it provides a way for the people in your church to participate in the Great Commission and be obedient to it. Now, isn't that great? Most churches, you know, to, to, sadly, they don't have any strategy for mobilizing their whole church for evangelism. And uh, that is a huge tragedy. In fact, the stats show that only 2% of Christians in the West now are actually engaging in evangelism. Secondly, giving out cards is very easy with zero cringe factor so everyone in your church can participate. These are high quality websites they're coming to non-Christians so there's no cringe factor. They're not going to go, uh oh, you know, and you'll be embarrassed. When they come to this website uh, uh, from that's linked to your church, that's going to honor your church, it's going to honor God. Number three, as such, it unites people in a church for a common purpose. And we know that one of the key factors for growing a successful, healthy, vibrant, flourishing church is for people to have a strong sense that there is forward momentum in your church. Well, this helps build that. Number four, non-Christians will hear an uncompromising gospel message. And isn't that good? They're not going to hear some other gospel. They're going to hear the gospel. Uh, and it's not being watered down. It's not being tampered with. It's really straight. And non-Christians, believe me, they absolutely love this. Hundreds of thousands of non-Christians all around the world have already seen this gospel message, and they connect with it because it's straight up. It's honest and it's non-compromising. Number five, because the cards have the unique web address of your church, non-Christians who hear the gospel have the potential to be drawn into your church. We are trying to link non-Christians uh, with churches. And so this is a great way of doing that. Number six, this strategy links evangelism powerfully with local churches, which is what I've just said. Number seven, it utilizes a low-key social media approach to connecting with non-Christians in your community. That is, site visitors can look at the people in your church before deciding who to connect with. Isn't that cool? So it's like Facebook and Twitter and everything else. You get to see the person, have a look at them before you want to decide, yeah, that's the person I'd like to talk to. It's very cool. This is the way the world's going. So we're actually jumping on the, the, uh, you know, the bandwagon. And saying, how do we use this for the glory of God, the social media? All right. What's the first step to register your church and yourself on this website? If you're getting excited about this, what are you going to do? Well, the first thing is visit this, um, that web address down there. And then refer to the video guide because we want to help you um, make a good video. And so you're going to say, where's the video guide? Well, the video guide is here. So just click on that and it'll give you a bit of a guide as to how to make a really good little 30 minute, uh, sorry, 30 minute, 30 second. A video of yourself or you can be one minute or whatever you like all right what comes next then you've got to shoot your video upload it onto YouTube if you don't know how to do that ask a young person every young person on the planet knows how to do that so just get a young person to help you click the share button which is on the video once it's been shot and it's uploaded you'll see a little share button there. if you click on that then this thing will open up down there that's the website address just copy that and then what you do is then paste it into the YouTube video address field on the List Yourself web form. Where's that? It's right there. So just cut and paste it straight into there and then send it off. How cool is that? Then you'll be live in no time at all on this website and you'll be ready to go. We then send your, you a unique web address. So whatever is the name of your church will send you a unique web address on there. Uh, print a few thousand cards like that. Get your cards printed, and they're not very expensive to print. They're very, very cheap. And then start recruiting. Now, this is where it starts to get really exciting. Start recruiting people in your church to start giving out cards. You want to mobilize people uh, to join in with the Great Commission. So that's a wonderful, incredible goal. If you can motivate and um, equip people in your church to participate in the Great Commission, to go into the world and preach the gospel... You are doing a thing that puts a smile that's bigger on the face of Jesus than, uh, you know, the moon. He loves this. This is the heart, the epicenter of Jesus' heart to, to see the Great Commission and the gospel going out into all the world. 
And then the second group of people you want to recruit is um, people who shoot their who will shoot their own video and make themselves available to be a connection point for non-Christians who visit your website and your church. So those are two things that you can do immediately. Email the link to this video to everyone in your church so that they they understand fully what this strategy is all about and can join in. So. Uh, if you're a pastor or a leader, why don't you show this to your church? Show them this little video and so that they can see how this is all going to work and everybody gets on the same page all at once and you're away. Then you've got real critical mass happening and um, momentum. Then finally, you've got to get ready. What do I mean by that? Well, is your church ready to disciple new Christians? You need to be ready for that. Have you got discipleship programs in place and so on? Number two, how will you assimilate them, that's non-Christians, into your church? What's your plan? Or is this new Christians? Are you going to give the connectors, that's the people with their videos on the website, extra training on how to connect? Because we don't want to, we don't want to blow it, do we? We're, if we're going to have people uh, watching the, the the gospel on online and then you know connecting with somebody in your church, we want to make sure that we're really going to do that in a in a great way, a way that honors God and um, uh, you know creates a result. Because we're building relationship, we're building friendship, and so on. And we're just flowing with the Holy Spirit to see how we can get somebody um, saved and born again and in your church and moving on. Number four, how are you going to mobilize your whole church to participate in this? How are you going to maintain the momentum? Well, we have strategies for doing that as well if you connect with us. Number six, what other considerations are there? You'll need to talk about that as a leadership team. Finally, there's a great verse here, Daniel 12, 3. I was thinking about this strategy and thinking, Lord, this must really please you because um, it's really doing exactly what Daniel 12, 3 talks about. What's that? Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Wow, what an absolutely cool Bible verse is that. So that's what God is calling us to do with this strategy. He's wanting us to lead many to righteousness. But you know what? How will they hear unless we go? Who will tell them unless we speak? We have to actually have a strategy that connects with non-Christians. And so if we don't have a strategy, it ain't going to happen. So this is a deliberate strategy for your church to mobilize for the Great Commission. Final word is just go for it. Yeah, absolutely go for it. And uh, if you've got any more questions, just email me. There's my address, julian at esisite.com and uh, we can help you. All right, God bless you. It's great to be partnering with you in the greatest of all things, which is the Great Commission for the glory of God.